Ground Control, I have visual on the object. Confirming substantial contamination by unknown compound observed earlier. The situation is serious. There's no time for further surveillance. Understood. Suggestions? I will descend to the object's surface and try to find the missing expedition members. Roger. Considering the importance of the object for this mission, and for the humanity at large, do not, I repeat, do not attempt repairs or try to reverse contamination. Collect intel on the expedition's whereabouts and head back immediately. Roger. Beginning descent. Hi, friend. Why are we so interested in this? Interested in this massive intergalactic space mosaic? Why is that important? How big is it? It's very difficult to tell scale in space. team isn't responding. None of them came back. What happened down there, we don't know. There's no other option. I was waiting for you. You won't know anything if you stay here. Oh, okay. Um, I, oh goodness, what have I done? I seem to, oh dear. I, uh, I've lost everything. Why does the mouse sensitivity seem to be so high? Okay, right, there's the door. Let's just point at it, not touch the mouse ever again, and say good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to something called Cognition Method Initiation. And a piano. So this seems to be, this was described as a demo for a first person puzzle game using altering gravity to solve things which sounded fascinating to me sorry sorry tone deaf phil ruined the concert again but never mind it's nice to see a white piano instead of the traditional black pianos that's nice so um So I'm not quite sure all the stories about, or how long this is going to be, or really what it's going to be like. Ooh. Hello. Hi. And I don't quite understand how the uh, changing gravity mechanics is going to work, but changing gravity has been a mechanic that's been used in a number of different games uh, to solve puzzles and to make things more interesting. And it's often a very hit and miss kind of thing. Some people do it very well, some people do it very badly. I'm interested to see how this ends up going. So far, the environment's quite interesting. It's quite different. Ooh. Is that a tree? Or part of somebody's nervous system? I haven't a ball Let's see what we've got over here. With these buttons. I'm going to assume these are buttons. How do, how, how do I know which button I'm supposed to press? Presumably they open this barrier. Goodness, that's extremely loud. Let's not listen to that. So that seems a clear when I did that. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. I was not expecting that. Okay, what happens if I stand on this one? That one seems to go, but when I come off it, it's going to go again. So do I need to like throw this through here, perhaps? That didn't work in the slightest. Okay, so what do I do with this box? Can I like charge up my throw or something? Throw a bit harder? And I can pick it up or I can drop it. I can you guess that I'm supposed to throw it through there? My aim is terrible. Every single game which has a throwing mechanic uses a different arc. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to help. 
What if I wall? If I just... I don't know. What if I just leave that there? I hardly doubt that's going to help the situation. Okay. So how does this help? What do I use this for? What can I do with this? I may have just screwed this up royally because I don't think I can get the box back now. Oh dear, I've barely even started, I've really ruined everything. So, what do I use this box for? Presumably it must be something to do with this, but... What? Oh! I use the box and I break that down. I am so sorry, that was the most obvious thing in the universe and I massively overcomplicated it. Sorry. After over a year and what happened to the tree? This is it died like many others. Our planet is failing. We don't know how to fix it. That's a bit depressing. My the word. artifact will help us. We found a way. We'll need your help, however. Alright, helpful little Phil will fix everything. Um, how gorgeous, what a gorgeous environment. Um, Gideon. I think what went wrong is that you painted your tree in gold, which I don't think is a very productive thing to do. This would be a very easy tree to climb, though, as self evidenced by uh, my ability to climb it without falling off breaking my neck. But, um, because we have more boxes I can play around with. Interesting. So when I stand on that, the light goes away, and when I don't stand on it, the light doesn't go away. Okay, okay. Is there another box in there? No. I can use this like a lift, and something will happen, and I'm honestly not sure what just happened, but something happened. Did I, did I go up, or have I moved somewhere else? Oh no, I have moved, because the, the tree isn't here anymore. Fascinating. But yeah, sorry, after a year of doing this, and um almost 300 different videos it's I've turned the world upside down okay that's not what I was expecting but okay <laughs> I um am I split oh okay 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 I think I'm beginning to understand how this works so when I go through here I turn the world upside down yes I do okay so that's what you mean by altering gravity it's not just like a button I can press okay then so what happens if I just throw this box in here but not like that Give me the box. Give me the. Give me back the box. Oh, for goodness sake! I'm gonna have to go up and get it again, aren't I? This could take longer than I thought. But yeah, so many indie games are full of such horribly abstract puzzles that it can. Um, there we go. It can be very easy to just assume that every puzzle will be horribly abstract and convoluted. But um, yes, I apologise. But never mind. We seem to have worked this out now. So. Test completed. Good job. Thank you. I'm glad I did a good job. I'm glad I made you proud. I like the voice acting, though. The voice acting is very professional, because almost all voice acting in most indie games just sounds like a couple of teenagers in their basement. But uh, glad they've got things sounding a little bit more professional in this one. And I don't know what the, what, what sort of studio or sort of group I, this I is made by. So. strange interference. But that's a bit sad. Very sad indeed. Okay, I'm going to head towards this massive orange pixel. Walk towards the light. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Not sure which of these lights I'm supposed to be interested in, but um. Done. Oh, did you fix it? Am I supposed to fall in down this here? Case, it's completely safe. I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm so gonna die. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Where where, where am I? Oh gosh, this is. Oh, this is literally one of those paintings where everything's all impossible. I can't remember if I previously. If... I know I mentioned that a few minutes ago, those types of paintings, but I don't know whether it was in this recording or the last recording because everything's starting to blur together. But. This is very pretty. It's very nice indeed. Can I. Oh, I see. 
So, wow. So the, um, like the gravity bends to wherever my feet are. Fascinating. I don't know quite what happened, but I think I'm going the right direction. Good. Yes, this seems shiny. And so far it seems to be that this game, if it's shiny, it's the right direction. Okay, so if I take this box and I put this box in this anti-grav, it'll go up there, push that button, and everything will go wrong. Oh dear. Right, let me ow my face. Let me, oh, I've fallen off again. Okay, right, so maybe the gravity is only constant while I'm within this circle. So let me fall down again without this here, and let me try throwing it. Let me try throwing it a bit further. There we go. And that should open this door. There we are. And very nice, gentle build-up of... Why is there a figure there? A nice, gentle build-up of... of puzzle uh, complicatedness. Okay, it seems like I need another box, but... Hmm. I another box, but I can't see one anywhere. So how do I do this? I noticed I could get through there. If I could turn the... Well, I was going to say if I could turn the gravity upside down, I could come through there, but then i just fall into the abyss. And by the abyss, I mean the sky. Okay, so I feel like I've royally screwed up and possibly ruined everything. Hmm. Unless I can grab the box from all the way over here, can I? Yes, I can! And I'm slightly too far away. Oh, goodness. Right, let's try that again. There we go. If I stand on the far side of here and then grab the box from all the way over here, then I can pop the box down here and go through here. Uh -huh. Fascinating. Was there supposed to be something spooky there which I was supposed to see because I didn't see it? Once again, I, I lost you for a few seconds. It's alright, I was only being molested by a ghost. Don't worry about it. Right, what's through the spooky red door? Another spooky red door. The spookiest of all things to find behind a spooky red door is three more spooky red doors. Right. Oh, for goodness sake, how many of these cursed things do I need to walk through? So what does that do? Okay. So I can click on this. And do some various different things. So it's like a bubble of gravity when I'm in it. I get like pulled into a different gravitational the field. Right choice. Oh, thank you. Was I not supposed to go through the other door? The tests are becoming more complex. I'm sure you will figure it out quickly. <laughs> then you, my friend, have more faith in me than I do. Um, which door should I go through? The one on the left or the one on the right? I'm going to guess the one on the left. Yep, I seem to be fine. No idea whether the other... Maybe maybe the, both the doors were fine. Maybe the other door was not fine. I just happened to get lucky. I don't know. But uh, I'm guessing... Oh, no, I can reach that one. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I think what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to jump into this one. And then... Whoa, giddy, aren't they? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so hang on a minute. Where's the floor? There's the floor. Okay, so I'm guessing I need to get up into this one, so maybe if I like jump and click on this one, then everything will go wrong. Let me try that again. Yeah, so if I turn one on, the other one goes off. So if I try like jumping and turning this one on, then yes, I'll be able to get into it before it turns off again. Whee! Ow, my bonds. <laughs> this is nice. This is a much better build up of the complexity of the puzzles than you get in the vast majority of games. Oh gosh! How do I know which door is the right one? I'm going to guess it's one of them because they seem like the most complicated of reach. So let me try getting into this one and then getting into this one. Um, it's so confusing. Where did I come in from? Um... <laughs> I have no idea. Well, I didn't come in here. I think I think that's the floor. It's such an existential question to ask. I think that's the floor. So let me try getting into this bit. Ow, 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 my brain, my brain, my brain. 
Okay, I guess this one. Let's try this door. No, this door's. This, this door isn't good. This door, this door isn't good either. Okay, so maybe I can just try all the doors until I figure out which is the right one. So it was neither of them. Let's see if it's either of these. No, it's not those ones. This one? Whoa. I don't think it likes me just opening doors at random. I think it wants me to choose a specific door to leave by. But um, I can't. I can't. I just, I just. Right, okay. Which way up am I? I'm this way up. Okay. So what door will it be then? It could be any of these. I, oh, hang on a minute. The door's formed off from there. Maybe that's where I should go. Okay, that seems utterly reachable. Let me just. Uh, there we go. It's very disorienting, but also quite enjoyable. Yep, there we are, I guess I managed it. I don't know if that's the way you were supposed to work it out or not, but, um... I don't know where I'm going. Am I dead? I've been sent to the afterlife. Moving the mouse around, but I'm not seeing any movement. Am I in a cutscene, or am I supposed to be looking for something and finding something, and then heading towards it in this abyss of white? I feel like Q's going to appear in a minute. I have no idea what's going on. I think the game crashed for a moment. But never mind, it doesn't matter. We're in this new, weird looking environment. It reminds me of Deus Ex from the uh, color schemes. But uh, it's very pretty. I like it. Ooh, we have some things that I can muck around with. Excellent. Much scientific equipment. Ooh, a little microscope and some information. Some coal. I see somebody's been a very naughty boy or girl this Christmas. What's under there? Something under there. Is it just a bit of weird texturing or something? Or is it actually something special? No, I don't seem to be able to interact with it, so I can only assume that it's meaningless. But hey-ho, we've got a proper looking tree. I don't want to, like, discriminate between various different trees. I mean, you know, dress however you like, Mr. or Mrs. Tree. But, uh, you know, at the same time, it's a normal-looking tree. I think we were complaining about the quality of trees before. Hi, you want to cuddle? You should focus on the test. Mwah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to give my ghosty friend a cuddle. Oh, big smooches for ghosty friend. Oh, goodness. I don't think I'm doing very well. Um. Oh, gosh. What am I looking at? Oh, would someone having a meditate? And like the reflection of a space helmet. Oh, I think I died. Oh no, everything's fine. I am. Concentrate on the circle. On the circle. Okay, that's the circle. So should I like throw the? Should I forget the button? Should I like, throw it in so that it lands on there? Oh, look at that trick shot. Excellent work. Excellent, excellent. Yay, a lovely tree, a lovely normal looking tree. Now, should I go that way, which seems perfectly nice, or should I go this sneaky way? I'm going to go the sneaky way, of course I am. Let's see what we have down here. Oh, this is just a different pathway to get. Never mind about the sneaky way, I'm being a cretin, as usual. Okay, so that closes this door and opens up another one of these gravity didgeridoo dolls. So I think I need to get this box first, there we go. But there's no way that I'm going to be able to get that to hit that. So I'm wondering, if I leave this here, and then turn it on, because there's no way I'm going to be able to throw it that far, if that thing goes up there, then it's going to fall down again. I need to get up there, don't I? No, I don't, because I need to turn on another gravity thing. Now maybe if I turn that off, that still didn't work. Maybe if I try scooching it a little bit further over, like right there, maybe that will be better? Will that make it be quite just far enough in? No, can I still interact with this here? No, I can, I can continually turn it back on. Oh, I can turn it off. I just need to right click. Okay, maybe I need to like turn it on at the right moment. I need to get the timing right. Hmm, there's nothing else out here that could help me, is there? Any other? No, there's nowhere I can go here. Okay, or can I just like throw this up? But it just. I can't reach that high up, can I? Yeah, just about. But again, I. I don't get how that's supposed to help. 
Oh, because I'm doing it the wrong way round again. Gosh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking these things the wrong way around, but it doesn't matter. Right, I can now push myself up get myself into this gravitational field and how this helps I have yet to know but now I can pick this box up which will open this door and I can now slip through here on my own there we go excellent I have worked this out using my brain aren't I a smarty right okay I'm glad the door shut behind you sometimes because that means that you don't need that box anymore and you can forget about that one right who had the explosive diarrhea Hi, friends. Here. Oh, but I want to make new friends. Why do you never let me make new friends, Father? Why can't I just have some friends? Why do you make me be socially dependent on you? You're going to give me a complex at this rate. Hello, you tiny-headed freakazoid. Oh, dearie me, another dead tree. <laughs> the environmentalists will be so sad and so upset. I'm liking the, um, the this, though. I don't really know what it is, but it's a very interesting visual... Oddity. In this case, it's completely safe. C -c completely safe. C -c completely safe. Completely safe. No, it's not. It's about as safe as sticking your foot in a shark's bum. Although, to be honest with you, I probably would, due to the length of a shark. If you were up one end of it, it probably actually wouldn't be able to, like, turn around and bite you, because they're not that flexible. I don't even know if sharks have bums. Why am I... What? Locked. Why am I considering the survivability of shoving my foot of a shark's butt? I clearly have far more important things to be worrying about. Like whatever another sun it's just happened. It's time to finish the job. The artifact is capable of saving the Earth, but it has to test you first. That is part of its program. I'm sorry, it's with an apostrophe after it? I've never seen that. I've seen it's without an apostrophe, and I've seen it's with an apostrophe before the S, but I've never seen one with an apostrophe after the S. That's just weird. And these little flying fish are not. Oh, I see I've learnt my lesson from my previous attempt with the piano. Oh, they're not fish. They're just like bits of rubbish, I think. Oh, okay. I have no idea. I'm being reminded oddly of the Vex from uh, Destiny for some reason. I know you have many questions. You'll know everything soon enough. But for now, you should focus on the tests. I believe in you. That's nice of you. Because I have not a ball this what's going on. <laughs> that was really nice, actually. That was really different. That was really unusual. The mechanics worked really well, um, they built up very nicely as I said, they were varied, I'd very much like to see them expanded upon a little bit, and uh, the story is intriguing, the visual designs are very nice, the voice acting is very professional, so it's, it's really good, it shows an awful lot of promise, and I apologise for how stupid I was through the vast majority of it, seeing really simple puzzles and massively overcomplicating them, but um, yeah, that was Cognition Method Intuition. That was a demo for something that will be coming in the future. That seemed very, very impressive. I'd very much like to see a little bit more of this. But uh, that was that. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Look after each other and good night. And I've suddenly realised that I don't think I made a single joke during this recording, but never mind. It's not the first time I've gone 25 minutes of my life without making any jokes. Oh well. <laughs>